We're here at La Castellet, and it looks to be a thrilling event ahead of us. The drivers are making their final preparations, and in a very short time, we'll be starting today's race. Today's drivers need to master the 15 corners of Paul Ricard, six left-handers and nine right, spaced around the 3.6-mile circuit. The longest section is the famous Mistral Strait, which is split into two by the colourful Chacan Nord, which offers a potential overtaking hotspot. But the drivers there need to take care. Those brightly coloured stripes don't offer much grip and won't be kind to tyres. As we await the start of another hugely anticipated Formula 2 race, I'm joined again by Davide Valsecchi. Davide, as a former GP2 champion, can we get some insight to what is running through these young drivers' heads as they sit out on the grid? Ciao, Alex. It's a pleasure to be here. They are nervy moments. There is no doubts about that. Mental strength is the key to remain calm and focusing on the upcoming race. Formula 2 is so competitive and all of these drivers know that they are going to be pushing each other all of the way. In these sports, you have to be able to control your nerves. As we're now moments away from the off, let's take a look at the grid order in which they'll start today's race. Marcus Armstrong lines up on pole position and it's Yuki Tsunoda in P2. Looking down the rest of the grid, we have PK, Schwartzman, Christian Lungard and Joe Tictum. Eilot, Deruvela, Nobuharu Matsushita, Sato, Aitken, Felipe Dragovic, and Nisani, Schumacher, Samaya, Giotto, and Artem Markovov, Alesi, and Louis Delatraz, Galeo, and Nikita Mazepin starts from the back of the grid. Now it's almost time to lights out, so let's go down to the track.
fastest lap of the race.
great job. You've done everything we wanted today. It wasn't always plain sailing today, but a very important win nonetheless. And I have to wonder, Davide Valsecchi, just what set them apart from the competition here? Well, I'm not sure what we just saw, but one thing's for sure. Today's winner has certainly shown they have no fear battling it out on the track. And who can blame them? I don't think I've ever seen someone eat through the competition so quickly. Today's race was a sight to behold, and judging from the crowd's reaction, it went down well with the fans as well. Welcome then to the podium, our top three drivers. What a great effort from them today in a very difficult race. And so, driver of the day then, Davide Valsecchi, who do you think you'd go for? Alex, I'm going to go for Nikita Mazepin. The Russian driver was amazing in the overtakes. Goodbye for now then, but we really are just getting started. Make sure you join us again for Lights Out tomorrow. <laughs>